Good morning, everyone. This is the Using Basic Phone Features webinar. We're just going to cover some of the basics about the line of phones that we offer and then uh, how to use key functions on those phones. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, the basic line of phones that we offer are made by Polycom. Uh, we offer these phones because they're they are very good quality. Um, you know, they hold up for a long time, and the sound quality is really excellent. They employ good speakers and good microphones, and they make the call quality sound even better. So the first model that we have here is the 331. Uh, this also translates to a 335 model, which is the uh, the high def model, and both of these have a, a smaller LCD display. So you know, this is a very good phone for 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 the casual user someone that um, does not have to log into a phone or see much information on the screen. Um, this phone supports up to two line activations and does have a switch port built in in the event that there's only one drop to the desk, you know, one, one cable to the desk, um, and the phone and computer in that office need both need internet. And that's true for every one of the Polycom phones. Each one of them does have a switch port built in so you can plug a computer into it to get internet to that computer. Now the Polycom 450, what this gives us is an additional line, and it's also uh, it also has a larger LCD display. So in the event that someone needs to see more information on the screen, this this phone will give you a little bit more visibility there. And we move up to uh, what has been the most popular model over the past few years. So it has a much larger display here on the IP550 model. It supports up to four line activations. Um, you know, and it has a lot of other same features as, as the other phones. But what you gain here is, is a larger screen, um, you know, the an easy ability to log into the phone, and, um, and just more functionality. Now the 560 is the exact same thing as the 550, except that it does have a gigabit Ethernet pass-through. Okay, so in the event that uh, there is only one Ethernet cable to an office, and someone wants to uh, have gigabit Ethernet all the way to the desktop, you know, and they have their computer plugged into the phone, then you would want to go with this model over the 550, which only has the the 10100 Ethernet. So 550 gives you gigabit. And then we move on to the IP650. So the 650 uh, is similar to the, the 550, except for it does support up to six lines. Okay, So six lines here is, is basically the only difference on this phone. And when we move up to the 670, we gain a, a color screen plus gigabit Ethernet. Now, this phone uh, used to be a very good phone, and it still is a good phone. However, been replaced with the VVX 500, as far as I'm concerned. So same price point here, um, and with the 500, you get much more, uh, many more features. Okay, so the IP or the VVX 500 gives you a, a 320 by 240 color touchscreen LCD. So you, you notice a lot of buttons on this phone here on the uh, the 670, which is you know very similar to the 550, have been replaced. So very minimalistic. You know, only a few extra buttons here because everything is is on the touch screen. Now this touch screen is um, is very is very good. It's very responsive. You know, it doesn't feel like a cheap touch screen. It does feel like uh, thick glass. You know, it's very responsive. It feels very much like your top of the line iPhone or top of the line Android phone. Now some of the other features you get here. This does support up to twelve lines. Uh, has USB input, so if you want to load photos on it or pictures for contacts, that kind of thing, you can. It does have uh, gigabit Ethernet pass-through. It has Windows Exchange Calendar integration. This is a very cool feature. So if you are using an Exchange server to get your email and, and manage your calendar and those sorts of things, this can actually do a calendar pop-up very similar to your computer. So um, it will pop up and tell you you have an appointment or if it's a conference call or something like that. And it even will display the phone number as a soft key for the conference call, which you can simply touch, and it will dial right into the conference call automatically. And you can also view the, um, the calendar in day, week, or month view. The Windows desktop integration is a very cool feature. That is basically going to allow you to use the screen of the VVX 500 as a second monitor to your computer, believe it or not. Now, 
it's not really designated to be a uh, you know, second monitor to display things, but rather uh, to use the mouse. So you can simply move your mouse from your computer screen off to the side. It moves on to the VBX 500, and now you can make selections, and you can use your keyboard and type, and uh, it's a very cool feature that gives you much more functionality on the phone than you would have had otherwise. We offer a conference phone, conference phone, which is the Conference IP6000, a very good conference phone. And there are some older models that are supported. So the, the sister products to the um, models that we just covered, like the 301, the 501, the 601, can be used with our service. Um, we do have firmware that supports those. So in the event that someone has an older phone, um, that will work. OK, getting into some of the features of the phone. So here we have a 550, and we're just highlighting the soft keys, the line appearance soft keys. So there's simply two sets of soft keys on this particular model. And the first set here is, is what we refer to as the line appearance keys. And these can also double as speed dial keys. So in the event that you have more than one line activation on a phone, you can select the lines using these line appearance keys. And it will show you either the extension, the phone number, or you can even put a custom label next to um, these keys. And this is all configurable within our WebLink online interface. Now, the second set of soft keys is what we refer to as the function soft keys. This would typically be your new call button, uh, log in, log out, call part, those sorts of things. And what you're seeing here is just a generic picture from Polycom. However, um, you know, these change based on the state of the phone. So, you know, if you click uh, log in, put in your extension, hit log in, now the button changes to say log out. So it indicates that you are logged in, and now you can hit log out to log back out of the phone. Blind call transfer. So to transfer a call blindly, which means just to send the call to another extension without interacting with that, that extension. You simply uh, start with a live call, press the transfer button, hit the blind button, enter the extension or phone number, and then press send. So this can be an internal extension or an external phone number or even an internal phone number. It doesn't matter. Um, and once that transfer happens, you know, as soon as you press that send button, the phone is going to hang up and the caller is going to go off to the extension or phone number that you sent them to. Now, there's a couple different ways to press the transfer button. If we look back here, typically we're going to see a transfer button as one of the function soft keys. And then we also have hard key. So you can see here is the shape of the uh, key. And if we look back here, we can see that our, our transfer key is over here. Okay, so there's a couple different ways to, to hit the transfer button. All right, an attended call transfer. So you would simply start with a live call, press transfer, enter the extension or phone number, just like in the last step. And instead of pressing blind this time, we just hit simply hit send. Um, third-party answers, and then once they're available to speak with them or, you know, if they accept that, uh, that they want to receive that transfer, you can simply press transfer to connect. Now, at that point, all three of you are connected and can speak, but if you want to hang up, you can hang up, and the person you transfer the caller to will be speaking with the caller. Now, the transfer key is also a hard button, uh, but it is also a soft uh, function key as well. Now, conferencing is a little bit different. So if we start with a live call and we press conference, we can also enter the extension or phone number that we want to send it to, and we hit send. Now, what happens is when the third party that we're calling answers, we're all three connected automatically. Okay, So that differs just a little bit from the attended call transfer, where you first speak with the third party privately before the, the caller is connected, and on a conference, um, all three are connected immediately. Call park. So to park a call, parking a call allows you to essentially um, put a call on hold on a particular extension. So we simply start with a live call. We press the call park soft key, which is going to be one of the function soft keys. 
We enter a parking space. So this is typically going to be an extension number uh, of the phone where you want to pick up the call. Now it doesn't necessarily need to be. It can be your own extension or um, you know any other extension on the system. So enter a parking space number like 805 and then press enter. Okay, and then the call is simply on hold and your phone is free to place another call or you know pick up another call park or, or whatever you need to do. And when you want to retrieve that call park, you'll notice that um, in its idle state, the, the phone is going to have a button that says retrieve. Okay, so only when you're on well, only when you're on the phone does it say park. So that that's uh, another function of these um, uh, function soft keys. So what we do is we press retrieve, enter a parking space, which is going to be an extension number that has a call parked on it and then press enter. Now if there's not a call parked there, it's going to say we're sorry, there's no call parked on that extension. Um, but if you do choose one that does have an extension or does have a call parked on it, then um, it will be retrieved and you'll be immediately, immediately speaking with the caller. And another key function here to check voicemail. So to check voicemail, most of the phones have a messages button. So to do that, we simply press Messages. Another menu comes up. We just need to press Select. And then we can hit Connect. Okay, so our Messages button is over here on the right-hand side. And it's also a function soft key. Typically, we may need to press the More soft key, and then we'll see Messages. Uh, but uh, most of the phones are the same. If we find that Message button, we hit Messages, hit Select, and hit Connect. And now it's going to tell us um, you know how many messages we have and, and then start to go through those messages. We have an at-a-glance comparison of the different phone models and the features associated with those. Um, if you go to freedomiq.com, click on phones, you'll be taken to this exact uh, URL. One other thing that uh, may be useful for a user to, to look at on their phone especially if they're moving their phone around, you know, taking it to other locations, is to check the E911 information. Now, this can be done in WebLink. However, it can also be done on the phone. If we hit the Menu button, select Applications, select Apps Continue, and then choose E911 Location Check, it's going to tell us where the phone is registered to for the 911 service in the event that we need to call emergency services. So this is a fairly important um, feature and option to have correct, okay? So it's good to, to check that and make sure that the phone is located at the location that is, is um, set up in the E911. And we do have one other phone here, the Cisco 504G. We're not actually going to go through the features on this phone. It is slightly more limited than our Polycom line. Um, you do get the, the transfer button. You do get the... Um, uh, hold button, however, there's no call park on this phone. Um, you do get the ability to log in and out as well. Um, but the only thing you lose here is the call park. Analog telephone adapters. Um, so, you know, there's not a lot of features with these phones. So, you know, when you go with, um, or sorry, with this device. So if you want to connect a cordless phone, um, you know, and use just a plain old telephone, you can use this device. However, you're not going to get a hold button. You're not going to get a transfer button. And uh, you're going to lose out on some of those features. However, we do have some functions that are available by pressing the star key. So if you're on a call, let's say we're on your cordless phone that was connected to this device, and you press the star key, that's going to put the caller on hold. And then from there, we can press the pound key to hear a menu of options. So you know, just because there, the features aren't built into this device, we can still access a lot of the features through the Freedom IQ menu by pressing star and then pound. Now the same applies to soft phones, so there's no built-in hold button, um, you know, there's no built-in transfer button that, that is going to work on this particular, on these soft phones, either Bria or Xlite, which is um, Windows, Mac, desktop, or uh, iPhone and Android but you can use the star pound menu. Okay, so just remember to hit star and then pound. Your caller is going to be on hold and it's going to present a menu of options to you to transfer the call, to send it to voicemail, to send it to another phone number, that sort of thing. So it does give you an advanced menu um, to manipulate how that call is going to be handled.
All right, that's all for today. Thanks for joining us, and we will see you next time.